Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be working on my 2007 uh, Honda Element SC. And we're going to be putting these drilled and slotted rotors. And we're going to get some new calipers on there. You'll make it go from this to this. Look at that difference. All right. If you have an impact, first things first, you're going to lift it up. Once you got it off the ground, well, mine have this spline key. Yeah, you're not supposed to use it with an impact. And take your wheel off, 12 millimeter bolt. Or the brake line, get that out of the way. I like putting stuff back so I don't lose them. I'm gonna do these two 14 millimeter caliper bolts. We're just gonna take this, stick it on the side. We're gonna take these, well, Never mind, they're seized in there. Next step, and I'm gonna pry these out. On the bracket right here, you got two 14 millimeter bolts, one here and one here. I doubt your guys' rotor will come out that easy. So this looks pretty bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and paint it off camera real quick. I'll be right back. All right, now that we've done our quality paint job, go ahead and put the rotor on. Got your rotor on. You're going to take your bracket, just your bracket. You're going to go back here and install your bigger bolts. Top bolt there bottom bolt here once we got our bolts in these are torqued to 41 foot pounds make sure you don't forget this little plug I'm gonna do this part really fast got my two washers ready I'm gonna take off my bolt uh, banjo bolt here but first I'm gonna let the new caliper grab on for now you can see that the bleeder screw is headed the same direction as on the top. Once you got it down, take that banjo bolt out. Take these washers out. Get your new washer. Now grab your line. The other washer through. Oh man, come on. And of course, tighten it down. This goes to 25 foot pounds. Once you tighten it, go ahead and clean everything off. Now I'm going to go ahead and take these back off. Going to let it hang for now. Let's put a little bit of grease down on the sides right here. And we'll install our hardware. Top as well. I went ahead and put this uh, clip back in there. Before our next step, let's make sure these have plenty of grease. Yep. I look good at me. Oh yeah. Now we'll grab more Molly Coat. Grease that is. And we're gonna install our brake pads. That's gonna go towards the bottom. And then this side goes right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on the sides of the pads right here. Okay, now grab your caliper. 
Let's go ahead and run these in. On this nut, I'm gonna grab a 17 millimeter wrench. And then these are torqued down to 17 foot pounds. Next. I'm gonna finish up the other side and then I'm gonna bleed it. Okay, we just finished bleeding the system. I went ahead and did a pneumatic bleed um, with my little bottle here. And then we did a manual bleed. So now, Go check it out, see how it runs. And don't forget the bolt that goes on that brake line. All right, let's put our wheel back on. All right, let's bring her down. Once it's on the ground, it's 80 foot pounds. All right, guys, so there you have it. I just did the break-in procedure, so. God, this is looking good. Now I gotta do the fronts. But um, we're gonna cut the video here. If you guys enjoy this, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and share this video. And subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.